Hello, I am Munir Hawk and you are watching Android App Development Tutorial in Kotlin. Today our topic is Safe Arcs in Android Navigation, which is a part of uh, Android Jetpack. Safe Arcs uh, basically helps us to transfer data between two fragments or two activities. So before uh, we want to, I, I would like to show you what app we are uh, going to build today. So this app is basically the continuation of second part of our first tutorial here we published uh, here in my channel android navigation component this is the second part and we have we want to pass data uh, through the fragments uh, using safer so if i say write something this is uh, vanilla and it uses and it goes here so this app uh, we are going to build today in case you don't know how android jetpack navigation works uh, please watch uh, my tutorial here first and you will get the code uh, the full source code from here in the uh, github and you can either clone or download it so let's build the project so I have uh, opened that project, load the project from the GitHub and first thing first we need to add some dependencies. For dependencies we will go to this website and I will put the description link um, URL in the description, uh, video description. So first we need to copy this line, these two lines and go to the project level gradle file there are two files one is module uh, module level gradle file and one is uh, uh, project level gradle file we will go to the project level gradle file and inside the dependencies block we will paste it here and one more thing we will go to the url again and copy this dependency get back to module level gradle file we will open the module level gradle file and add it to the top of the uh, top of this project so gradle file apply we need another dependency add this dependency we need to add this and copy this here and lastly uh, we will uh, sync the project so we want to run this project one time to see what uh, what was there and what we want to do so this was our app and when i press the that's it it go to the another fragment so what we want to do i we want to add a text box right here and take some input from the user and when I press the uh, submit button, let's see the button, that uh, uh, input value come to in this fragment using Android Jetpack Navigation's safe arcs. So in order to do that, first we go to the navigation graph, uh, press and navigation. So one thing actually there were two more fragments there so uh, i want to delete those two fragments to delete those fragments it is very simple we want to delete these two fragments we just click here right click there and delete right click the click here right click and delete okay so these are those two fragments one is bakery fragment and another one is ice cream fragment so this is the start fragment here and this is the destination fragment so we want to uh, send value from here to here uh, through the android jetpack navigation safe arcs let's see how to do it so uh, in our destination fragment in case the in our case ice cream fragment we will select that and here in the attribute panel we see there is an argument list so 
we will add argument by uh, clicking here and we are simply uh, add a name so the name will be the name and its type will be string in our case and we will leave this thing null and add so what we want to do we will receive a uh, receive a parameter name or argument name name which will be type of string so after adding the arguments we need to uh, rebuild the project we need to go re and rebuild here so after the rebuild uh, we will, we can go to the java generated actually we don't have to go it's just for showing um, uh, that here we will <coughs> see one thing that uh, is uh, two files two uh, kotlin files the bakery fragments direction this is all showing direction and ice cream send ice cream fragments arcs these two files has been gener uh, have been generated actually we have nothing to do with these uh, two uh, files and we will not touch here it's just for showing that uh, actually these two files has been generated to do all kinds of uh, navigation safe arcs facility to provide the facility so we close it here so now we will go to, we'll need to add the input file so we will go to the layout and fragment bakery and here we will add the edit text beneath the uh, try some food try some food text view so we will add edit text it will be match parent and it will be wrap content and id will be something like id and it will be id text id and we will set a, we will give a hint hint that uh, what is your favorite food what is your ice cream okay and then we will to make this uh, edit text little prettier we will add a style we we already had a style for this uh, medium text style and give it a uh, okay we can leave it here and okay now we will go back to the our bakery fragment.kt the Kotlin file Kotlin class and here we will do one thing we will first comment out this and we will need to do write the action so we uh, declare a variable called action and the action is this action actually a uh, this action actually a integer type and uh, we will define our uh, value the what value we want to pass here so there is a direction like first we first we uh, give the name of direction or you already have seen that here in generated file there is a there is a naming convention right the naming convention bakery fragment direction we want to this is our bakery fragment and we want to set the direction so the name is bakery fragment direction okay so we will take the class bakery fragment directions and inside the class this this class there is a, a, a function this name will be we we are taking this name already has been appeared action bakery fragment to ice cream fragment and here we will put the value of this text edit text we just created so then the value will be the binding this is the binding so, uh, so binding here and it will be ip text we will get the text 
and we, we will make it twisted okay the action returns a integer value actually what it what this line tells that actually it is uh, telling that the direction of the bakery fragment towards the uh, ice cream fragment with the navigation uh, safe arcs of navigation so actually we will later bind this so so by the way here the binding object is actually the view those if you don't want to use binding or uh, you use um, other binding to your binding library like uh, button knife don't be confused that it is actually the view that returns from the uh, on create view okay so next we will take the um, each parameter here what you get got here e dot uh, find navigation controller find nav controller sorry and then navigate with this value it actually it holds all those things what to navigate with which what value so we put it action so actually when you run this uh, it will uh, send it will send the, this uh, our, this value as um, safe arcs and navigate to our ice cream fragment okay so we need one thing we need to hold we need to get this value this this is this value we are sending we need to uh, hold or get this value uh, inside our inside our ice cream bakery fragment ice cream fragment okay in order to get the uh, safe arcs we, we we need to do one thing we need to take it from the bundle so we will take the arguments which is another uh, the bundle of get arguments and set arguments and we will apply the let okay we make it a null save and we will make it a we will apply let and the let block you know we already know the uh, it is type of bundle type of another uh, it's another object so what we do we call args and we we create a variable and inside the variable we will take the accept the value that is um, this the, the arguments of this this uh, class or this fragment so ice cream fragment args which is already been created from we can we can see from here ice cream fragment args this is the args and dot form bundle and here we will pass the it this is so simple and now we can show through a log so we put log and need a tag username and we put this arcs and we get the name we already have been uh, uh, we already have shown it uh, we already have done it inside app navigation design and we got the we set the arguments name the same thing we took here in the ice cream fragment okay so this is so easy so if we run uh, the app what will happen so we open the app here is the text box we just created and we what is the favorite ice cream and chocolate and when we press let's eat and if we go to the locket and give a search with this tag name yes it has arrived chocolate so what we done here we send uh, uh, the we send the input value here as uh, navigation safe arcs and receive the value to ice cream uh, fragment as um, arcs 
the arguments uh, but it's a um, bundle uh, it's a bundle object so this uh, this is very easy you know if you can remember we uh, used to do the same thing like static activity or uh, transition between fragments and put some extra value the key pair key pair value and we and the receiver end we always uh, have to remember the key names so this is very in this case there is no need to remember anything it is very easy and simple one more thing we can do for looking the app little prettier that uh, okay first thing we need to go the fragment ice cream here and uh, this is the text view we give it a name that just uh, name or id sorry id that id fav favorite ice cream or something like that okay now we go back to uh, ice cream fragment and here uh, we can add the binding dot favorite ice cream dot text equals we get the value like uh, arcs arcs dot name okay now if I run this app again uh, we open our app and say this show not and when we proceed to let submit let's say and it becomes here it the value it gets the value so this is our app and thank you for watching so i need to tell one more thing that the safe parks and android jetpack navigation safe parks is uh, used to uh, used to send data or pa pass data which are very minimal which is little so to pass uh, larger data you need to use the parcelable which i will later uh, planning to make a tutorial on how to pass parcelable as navigation safe parks so till then Thank you. Thank you for watching.